So what might that mean? It may mean that you have hypermobile EDS and just don't have enough criteria to meet that arbitrary designation that was created. Or it may be that you are hypermobile for other reasons and you don't have EDS. Um, why, are, why are we here in this situation? Well, we have criteria to diagnose hypermobile EDS because as of right now, we don't have any other test or marker. So there are other forms of EDS where we can do genetic testing. Right now, we don't know the gene or genes that cause hypermobile EDS or HSD. So we have to diagnose it clinically. And as I just laid out, that's a far from perfect process.